so I wanted to make a quick video of the um, the new Hobby King Quantum DIY FPV goggles, which are really cheap. They're I think I they're thirty dollars plus postage. I paid twenty four pounds delivered, and um, they come in a like a flat box in pieces. I've put them together. Um, the screen is I think it's really good for the money. Um, I've just put uh, just playing a, an old DVD just because it's easier to show the quality of the screen, but. The screen looks absolutely fine. The uh, the foam is really nicely moulded. You put it together very simply. A couple of tips I would say is I used um, super glue to glue these little tabs on. If you do that, leave the frame overnight before you put it in the foam goggles because the the mist from the super glue you get this sort of white mist that settles on everything. It was all around the frame of the screen, which I've cleaned off. Um, so just something not to do, which is silly of me. The foam I've glued together with POR, which went together really e easily, and I've put the foam strips in, which are for focus thing. Uh, there's some little self-adhesive foam that you can put on to make it fit around your face. Uh, people have complained about the nose slot, but I must have a normal nose because it seems fine for me. The uh, tips I would give are one is if you super glue this then to leave it overnight before you put it in the in the housing. The other thing is the tabs come quite long which means you can't get them in and out once you've glued the foam together. So what I've done is I've just dremeled these down so they're just uh, I think they're about 17 mil. Let's just check that. So yeah they're about 17 mil protruding and I've just rounded them off slightly. Now the other tip is to pot use masking tape to hold the little lens on, the Fresnel lens, and that means that you can then slot this in to the goggles like that and then adjust. Now the I've tried the lenses and they're a bit odd. The mid, I'm using the middle lens and I'm going to try and give you a view of what it looks like which is hard to do but I'm not sure about the focus because I can't really see on the camera screen but that is roughly what it looks like. The edges are quite curved which is a bit of a funny look. I'm used to the Fat Shark goggles, so if you've never used goggles, it, it's fine. The Moving the lens back and forward is supposedly for focus, but to me, there's a very narrow range of actual focus. If you have it too far out, you can just see the frame in the way, like that. If you have it too far up, then the, the picture just sort of distorts a bit. So you, you sort of end up with it about two-thirds back, I would say. Um, it... Uh, the picture looks fine. Um, they're very light. They, I was worried they'd be heavy and, and uncomfortable to wear, but they're fine. They're really lightweight. Uh, the cable it comes with is very neat. It has a video in, the audio in, I guess you don't use, and a little power socket. Um, I, it comes with this adapter lead to a, a JST, so I'm just running it off a little three cell 850 pack. Um, I've also tried it on a two cell a pack that I've got the it's just a five and a half mil 2.1 barrel connector because it's the same as the fat shark goggles use and it runs fine on 2s as well um, I don't know what the current consumption is but I'm guessing it's a bit higher than the fat shark goggles just because the screen's bigger but for 24 pounds it's an absolute bargain I would say uh, just get one it's a spare set of goggles with the fat shark goggles you they come with a, a video lead which is for either video in or video out. So if you have the goggles normally on with the, the picture showing and using their internal receiver, if you just plug in this cable and then plug this yellow lead into this yellow lead on the on these quantum goggles, you can then have two screens running. So which I've tested and it works perfectly. So you can see um, you can have a passenger standing next to you uh, and they can see what you can see. The other thing I thought would be quite useful would be to somehow mount this somehow, um, possibly even leave the lens out, just as a, as a view, as a screen that you can easily look at without the sun getting in the way. So you can um, you could just literally have it like on a stand like this. It, this hood makes a really nice sun shield, and for if you're doing a a, a line of sight flight where you just want to frame a, a still or a bit of video, this would be perfect because you can see the the quad uh, easily and then use this just for framing your video picture. So I think it's, to be honest, for the money, it's just worth getting one to have a look at, I would say. Um, yeah, this, this is the instruction sheet it comes with, which is fine. Uh, nothing's confusing at all. You do, 
have to glue the foam together really so that you can pop the strap through the slot because the the join is along this line so if you didn't glue the foam parts together you then can't glue the strap in neatly um, I again use POR for that I just glued it through and I've just folded it over and just taped it I've trimmed it off neatly so it doesn't foul this slot just put a bit of tape just so it doesn't flap around and interfere with your view but yeah so there you go I don't know how well that'll come out on the video but hopefully it gives you an idea the screen I think is great value for £24 uh, as people are thinking about getting into FPV it's, it makes a great uh, a great first uh, goggles and if you've already got a set of Fat Shark or similar goggles but you want to have a second set for someone to stand next to you and see what you can see for £24 they're an absolute bargain so I'd, I'd say just grab a set I um, hope that's useful